Uh, hi everyone, so this is just a quick demonstration to show off sort of what uh, the Open Dynamics library can do, or ODE. Uh, I found when I was trying to learn how to use it, there wasn't a lot of resources that really showed it off or talked about how to use it. Um, and I'll make my source code available on GitHub in the comments. But uh, So yeah, I mean, of course, if anybody wants to use that stuff, that's fine. Just go ahead and, you know, reference me or anybody else who's listed in my readme file, because um, it wasn't 100% my ideas in this thing. But anyway, uh, this is using uh, OpenGL, and it's like the seventh thing I've made in OpenGL. So it's going to have some weirdness here and there, um, especially with some of the physics stuff. But, um, so yeah, let's just start with uh, these balls. These are the first things I added uh, physics to, and uh, I'm using single precision, where Ode lets you choose between single precision and double precision uh, for all your calculations. Um, and I chose single precision because it's faster, and since I'm making more of like a video game kind of thing here, I don't need to have like double precision super accurate stuff you'd want that more for like scientific calculations but anyway um, because it's single precision sometimes you run into these weird errors where one ball will shoot through another ball uh, it didn't happen there but you'll see occasionally I'll shoot at things and maybe maybe the ball will go through them like right there oh no not bounced there we go see how it kinda goes through that that's some single precision error um, and so this terrain, this is, I guess I'll talk about some of the OpenGL stuff I did. This terrain is a simplex noise terrain I made. Um, so it's got a pretty nice, like, wave, wavy format to it. Um, it's going to be a little more accurate than if I just told OpenGL, like, all right, this point, draw this, draw the next point, draw this. Um, made these doors. These all have physics on them. So you can kind of bounce them around. This pyramid I made, uh, the sort of electrical effect is also a simplex noise. Uh, something that simplex noise is really good for is like creating like A landscapes, B electrical effects. Um, I didn't have time to write any shaders for this, but the next step would have been to write a shader, um, and then just kind of stepping through uh, blue, yellow, and white colors there in an array, but. Uh, you can kind of check that out in the source code if you like. See this bounce around in here. Uh, one fun thing you can do with Ode is you can sort of squish everything together and then disable the uh, physics on them. And then when they interact, they can get this nice spring effect. Uh, that's sort of a trick I used for a couple things in here. So I also made these boxes and have them explode. Um, things flying around here, just some drones I found in an OBJ file, uh, which I have in my referenced in my readme. It's another box you can explode. Um, you can also do, like with your collision detection, you can also like have things turn on and off when they're interacted with, and uh, Ode will sort of keep or it keeps track in the background of like what objects are being interacted with and what aren't. So like if I were to like shoot that ball off that way, those two objects that were just turning green there uh, were no longer being interacted with. So I could add code that would have it do something else. Like all right, now it's not being interacted with. Turn back to blue or something. But I didn't write that. Um, and that's pretty much what's going on. There's just lots of targets for you to shoot. Um, one weird thing that I couldn't wasn't 100% on was how Ode defines uh, the physics box for, uh, well, for boxes. Um, one thing I noticed was that when I first applied the physics to, say, these panels here, um, obviously I don't have a detection box around the camera, but uh, when you put it around these, it seemed like the physics was slightly off. And I think what's going on is that the physics uh, box defines it at an edge and not the center of mass like it did for the balls back there. So when I told these objects to draw an OpenGL, they weren't quite lining up with uh, the OGOM. So that's just something to keep in mind if you decide to mess around with my source code. Um, it When I do a matrix molten there, I just kind of cheated and 
kicked the drawings back over so they lined up. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, just a lot of targets. Got a nice skybox here. Just took me quite a while to get it so there were no line, like visible lines up here. Although, if we were to walk off the edge of this, you can definitely see where I wasn't able to quite get the texture to line up and uh, have invisible lines. This is a class project, so I had a due date, so I ran out of time for a lot of things I wanted to do on this. Um, but just to kind of show you, I guess, quickly what's going on with this simplex noise, I'll just walk off the edge here. Now, sort of like the next step with this simplex noise, you can get pretty nice mountain ranges and stuff if you just keep layering it on top of itself. So if I were to take this same uh, function and then call it like 10 or 15 more times, but reducing the uh, height or the Y values with each call and just like layering them on top of each other, you can get some really nice mountain ranges actually. Um, but this is just sort of one call and you can sort of just, uh, like if you were walking on it, you wouldn't see those kind of ridges or anything. Um, and then I set like the physics ground to be just right here, so. Um, you can't turn over here and have things fall off. All right, well, that's it. Um, hopefully uh, you like what you see and learn something from the source code. Thanks.